what's going on stock fam before we get into the video make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell because you know i was coming with another one now do not forget stock fam i am doing a hundred dollar cash giveaway when i reach 1000 subscribers the only thing you have to do is make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications and the first four people that come in the cold word that i mentioned throughout the video will be the winner only thing you have to do is subscribe yeah turn on post notification and watch the videos now let's get into these stocks okay you guys i'm up 21 dollars and 86 cents today as you can see, I've invested $780. So I have a total gain of $408.85. My overall balance is $1,188.85. Let's see what's on the move today. Beyond Meat is down 1.34%. I've invested $88. So I have a total gain of $64.25. I own one share. The price per share is $151.94. And if you go down, stop fam, you want to know more about a particular company, go to the About section, click on Show More, and it will give you a brief description of what that particular stock is. But when you're doing your research, Google is your best friend whitening petroleum is still at the number two spot on my list is up 4.71 percent i've invested 125 dollars and 73 cents i have a total gain of 56 dollars and 42 cents i own 102 shares the price per share is one dollar and 78 cents it's still going up. It was up more than that, but it went down a little bit. But we still got some gains out of it. And Tiro Resources is up 2.39%. I've invested $22. I have a total gain of $45.29. I own 17 shares. The price per share is $3.86. Now, my total gain is way over what i've invested if you see that no i am not taking my gains no but if you wanted to take your gains click sell however much you want to take or you can pretty much sell all of it and go to next you can click the three dots type in the amount whatever amount you want and click next but over here stop fam we in it for the long term so i rather for when the stock go down i rather for it come out my total gains than what i've invested because i can lose my total gain i gained it off this stock i rather not lose the money that i put in here i rather hold on to that just like i'm holding on to these stocks the Dorado resorts it's up 6.11%. I've invested $15. I have a total gain of $35.91. I own one share. The price per share is $40.79. So we're doing good. We're a little wavy. And let's see. Hmm. If you got in this about $12.55, you should be gaining. You should be gaining. Yep, you should be gaining. I see that one. It went up. That was about 3.69. And this one's about 2. So if you got in yeah, about 12.55, you should see some gains. Antero Mint Screens is down 2.78%. I've invested $33. I have a total gain of $26.79. I own 10 shares. The price per share is $5.95. If you made some gains today, hit that subscribe button. Let me know you got some gains. Hit the subscribe button if you made some gains today. 
Penn National Gaming is up 0.51%. I've invested $11. So I have a total gain of $24.27. I own one share. The price per share is $31.71. Make sure you like my video if you enjoy watching my gains go up and down. <laughs> Overstock is up 2.26%. I've invested $22. I have a total gain of $24.19. I own two shares. The price per share is $22.16. And stock fan, let me tell y'all something. I'm going to start investing a dollar in each stock that I have, probably bi weekly. And I'm going to see how that go. So we're going to start that pretty soon. Aurora Cannabis is down 1.6%. I've invested $15. I have a total gain of $13.62. I own two shares. The price per share is $13.11. It's okay. You let it go down. It's going to go back up. I have faith in my stocks, y'all. If you didn't know, I have faith in my stocks. Carnival is up 5.4%. I've invested $9. I have a total gain of $13.41. I own one share. The price per share is $20.42. It's moving. Caesars Entertainment is looking kind of wavy. It's up 2.99%. I've invested $14. I have a total gain of $11.16. I own two shares. The price per share is $12.06. So we moving. But it was down. Around about $12.55. Now let's see. There's a pattern going on in the market today. We're going to see. Board Gaming. It's up 3.37%. I've invested $13. I have a total gain of eleven dollars and one cent i own one share the price per share is twenty two dollars and seven cent let's see let's get them gains hertz is up 3.72 percent i've invested eleven dollars i have a total gain of ten dollars and seventy one cent I own 11 shares. The price per share is $1.95. So Hurts trying to move up a little bit. Even though they said the stocks will be worthless, it's going up. But we will see what tomorrow brings. Norwegian Cruise Line is up 4.85%. I've invested $12. I have a total gain of $10.10. I own one share. The price per share is $20.96. Let's see if they go down about $12.55. Yep. Yep, yep. United States Steel is up 9.98%. I've invested $13. I have a total gain of $8.17. I own two shares. The price per share is $10.47. The market moved a little bit. Let's go. I like that. The market moving a little bit. If you like when the market moves up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know you like when you get them gains. MGM Resorts is down 0.51%. I've invested $13. I have a total gain of $7.91. I own one share. The price per share is $19.35. We still got some gains, so we're going to let it go down a little bit. It's okay. <clears throat> American Airlines is up 1.98%. I've invested $10. I have a total gain of $7.85. I own one share. The price per share is $17.03. I'm going to let them airlines go up. We know they made a fall. Yeah, a few times, but 
We're going to be patient. That's what you have to do when you invest in, in stock. You have to be patient. Ford is up 0.77%. I've invested $26. I have a total gain of $7.45. I own five shares. The price per share is $6.55. Uber. Uber, it seems like it's going to rise up tomorrow. Uber is up 2.51%. I've invested $28. I have a total gain of $6.54. I own one share. The price per share is $33.49. Uber is finally rising, but it really dropped low today, about 10 o'clock. It was under the dotted line. Ziga is down 0.55%. I've invested $14. I have a total gain of $5.08. I own two shares. The price per share is $9.05. What's going on, Ziga? People ain't paying the games no more. Quarantine almost pretty much over with. But hey, Spirit Airlines is up 5.2%. I've invested $18. I have a total gain of $3.80. I own one share. The price per share is $20.72. And y'all, do not be afraid because they are saying a second wave of this coronavirus. Don't be afraid of the market. We already know the market going to react. People going to start buying and selling. While they selling, hey, you never know. I may be buying while they selling. Because it's going to drop. If it drop, it, it's going to drop lower than what we paid for it, right? Barrett Gold Corporation is down 1.46%. I've invested $46. I have a total gain of $3.69. I own two shares. The price per share is... $24.38. And that's I always tell y'all. If that price go down, if the if that stock go down, that's the best time to really buy. Because it's way cheaper. It's gonna be cheaper than what it was. Because even though it go down, guess what? It's gonna go back up. Canopy growth is up 6.27%. I've invested $16. I have a total gain of $2.78. I own one share. The price per share is $17.80. Now, Canopy Grow has been going up. It went up major today. So, if I were you guys, I would watch that stock. General Electric. It's up 3.18%. I've invested $21. I have a total gain of $2.66. I own three shares. The price per share is $7.47. But before you invest in any stock, make sure, make sure you do your research. That is the key. Research, research, research. Energy transfer is up 1.35%. I've invested $7. I have a total gain of $2.47. I own one share. The price per share is $8.25. So we moving. I like it when they move up. Plug power is up 4.61%. I've invested $10. I have a total gain of $2.39. I own two shares. The price per share is $5.45. So, plug power been on the move. AMC. AMC is down 4.14%. I've invested $27. I have a total gain of $1.29. I own five shares. The price per share is $5.56. I'm just wondering, how is AMC going to react to 
Hollywood beginning to open back up. But we'll be patient. We're going to see. Tilray is down 2.49%. I've invested $8. I have a total gain of $1.11. I own one share. The price per share is $8.23. That is a cannabis stock, you guys. Chronos Group. Chronos Group is up 3.23%. I've invested $15. I have a total gain of $0.97. Cent. I own two shares. The price per share is $6.72. We got them gains. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and tap that bell. If you like them gains, subscribe to my channel. We all about gains over here. Liberty Global is up 1.99%. I've invested $23. I have a total gain of $0.56. Cent. I own one share. The price per share is $22.04. So Liberty Global is on the move. It's on the move, you guys. Under Armour is up 5.7%. I've invested $22. I have a total gain of $0.30. Cent. I own two shares. The price per share is $10.36. On the arm and try to do something over here. Now that you guys have seen my positives, let's go into the negatives. Glaxo Smith. It's up 1.47%. I've invested $43. I have a total loss of $0.74. Cent. I own one share. The price per share is $41.32. Okay. Now, if I've invested $43, when I first bought this stock, it was about $42 and some change. But now that I'm in the negative, the, the share price is going down. Because the stock is dropping. It's way cheaper than what it was when I bought it. So yeah. That's why I say. Opportunity. Numer Group. It's up 1.93%. I've invested $29.27. I have a loss of $2.53. I own 5 shares. The price per share is $5.28. Now, if you losing more than you don't want to, you do not have to keep your stock. You can sell it. But when the stock drops, it's the best time to buy more at a cheaper price, stock fam. Remember that. But before you invest in any stock, do your research. Now, if you see any stocks on my portfolio that you will want to invest in, Make sure you do your research. It's number one, Google is your best friend while doing research. And it's okay to have negatives. It's okay. Long as your positives outweigh your negatives and you're still gaining. Now let's go to my followings. We got Smile Direct Club is up 7.29%. That share price is $8.09. So that's not too expensive. You know, we got a lot of up arrows compared to, you know, recent days. And out of all days, Moderna wants to go down today. And this been the main stock. When every other stock is down, this one be up. Now that the rest of them are going up, this one want to go down. Isn't that something? It's pretty weird, but hey. That's how the market acts sometimes, you guys. So we got a little movement on my following list. We got a little movement. Not much, a couple percents. But not much because the reason why it's not too much up. Because when the market opened up, the stocks dropped, you guys. Remember, the stocks dropped. See, when it when the when the market opened up, the stock began to drop about 9:30. Bam. They dropped until 10 o'clock. Then they started going up. So that's why it's not so much that has been gained 
because the stocks drop when the market open. Another around about the same time, 9 30. They drop until about 10 o'clock. See, and y'all make sure you watch for those patterns. So then you'll know, okay, what about will it do that the same time tomorrow? We're gonna have to wait and see. Macy's is up 6.26%. Now it dropped. Drop. Because it was a way higher than that. At the beginning of the market, like I always tell y'all, pre-market, the stocks go up. The stocks go up. When you get in now, then you'll be wanting to buy. You'll be wanting to buy. You'll be wanting to buy. Then it drops. And it drops. A packy is up 3.48%. Let's see. It dropped. It ran up probably pre-market, and then guess what? When this market opened up, it dropped to 10 o'clock. Then it kind of leveled out. It, it kind of leveled out all the way out. Yeah, make sure y'all pay attention to that stock, fam. Occidental Petroleum is up 6.51%. That share price is $20.29, just like this one. They go up, drop, all the way down from the highest was 9.34% in that area. Now, it dropped all the way to 2.15%. Now, it did not reach back up to that 9%, but it was headed that way, but it did not reach back up to its peak. But it went up and it leveled itself out all the way up until the market closed. Yep, some you guys want to probably want to pay attention to. Windham is up 3.68%. We got Diamondback Energy going up. We got the airlines going up, even though they dropped all the way down, then level back out. So, it's just something we got to pay attention to. Revolve Group is up 5.9%. $16.10 a share. Same pattern. Now, Chesapeake Energy is down 18.60%, you guys. <clears throat> so, when the market opened, it was already down. It dropped even further. It came up a little bit. Then it just dropped. And it stayed, it balanced out all the way through. And one more thing about Chesapeake Energy. I read in an article that this company could go bankrupt this week. So y'all be aware of Chesapeake Energy. As y'all can see, their share price is $15.36. Just be aware of Chesapeake Energy. If I were you guys, stop fam check on your stock it may drop some more tomorrow if it said it's going bankrupt you already know investors are cashing out they selling they selling they selling so if it drop this will happen the market reacting it's already been dropping because this was an article i probably came out like yesterday or the day before but it already reacting it's dropping lower so, y'all pay attention to this particular stock. Maybe it'll change. Hey, we'll see, though. Okay. We got Weibo up 3.5%. Halliburton is up 3.84%. Cladera is up 3.62%. IQIY. What? IQIYI. That's up 25.85%. Started off at 34% and it dropped. Came up and pretty much leveled itself out. And that is a online entertainment service provider in China. 
Okay, if you see any stocks on my following list that you want to invest in, just know, do your research. It doesn't matter which one it is. Just do your research before investing into any stock because there's a risk of losing money and you can gain money. So do your research, stock fam, and hit that subscribe button. Most traded monthly. Okay. Tesla is down. Apple is up. Okay. Amazon is up. Apple up. And they also did a drop. All the way down. And then they came back up. Pretty much leveled it out. So a lot of a lot of these stocks have that same pattern, stock fam. If you see the pattern that I'm talking about, hit that subscribe button. Let me know you see it. Because, you know, when I see it, I try to show y'all. Every time I see it, I will show you guys. Those are the most traded monthly. I don't recommend these stocks. But if you want to invest in any of these stocks, you already know. Do your research first. Okay, the biggest daily mover. And we got IQIYI. Number one spot. We got WW International up 18.94%. Eli Lilly is up 15.68%. So, formal, hmm, pharmaceutical company. Yep, a lot going up in the medical industry, you guys. Just wanted to put that out there. So if you see a health stock that you want to invest in, hey, do your research first. You feel like it's going to move, invest. You got no scrum, Roku is up. United States Steel went up. Coles went up. Vulcan, never heard of it, but it's up. Let's see what that is. Okay. Crushed stone, sand, and gravel. Market include Alabama in the building. Okay, Alabama. Represent your... Represent your... Represent your state. Hey, hey. Guess is up 9.17%. Dillard's is up. Gap up. Okay. We got a lot of movement today. Like I said... It's good when the market goes up because we know we gaining, right? If you see any stock on this biggest daily mover list, make sure you do your research before you invest. Because you can lose money or it's a good thing that you can gain it. Now, stock fam, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell. And don't forget... I will be doing a $100 cash giveaway when I reach 1,000 subscribers. The only thing you have to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and the first four people that comment the call word that I mentioned in the video when I get 1,000 subscribers will be the winners. So make sure you subscribe. Turn on them post notifications and watch the whole video. That's all you have to do. 1,000 subscribers is right around the corner, you guys. I'm just letting you know. So you have to watch the videos. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the support, Stop Fam. I will be here with another video, so stay tuned.